It's important to have standards, right? In the case of user-generated content like YouTube, it's not a requirement, but it can definitely help you stand out from the pack. In the case of professional distribution channels such as Netflix or TV stations, it's an actual requirement. Either way, making sure your content has the highest level of quality control is great practice to get into. This is where automated quality control, also known as AQC software, comes into play. AQC software will automatically check your footage for you and alert you to any errors or issues that will either break compliance with the standards of your distribution platform or at the very least create an unpleasant viewing experience. Lightworks has a piece of sister software called QScan, which is one of the leading AQC platforms on the market. And in a video editing software world first, you can now use QScan to analyze your footage directly inside Lightworks. I should note here that to use this, you're required to have a separate subscription to QScan, but there are packages available for all level of editors. QScan also currently needs to run on Windows, although as long as you have an instance of it set up and running on a Windows machine, you can access it through Lightworks on other operating systems. So with that housekeeping out of the way, let's show you how this works. The first time you want to use QScan, you'll need to configure it inside Lightworks. It's a quick and easy process though. From your project browser, click on System Settings, go down to Quality Control, and choose Configure. You'll get a pop-up box where you log into QScan. I'll go ahead and cover up my details here. Can't be too careful, right? Next up, you have Preferences. I wouldn't worry too much about these while you're just getting started. The default should be fine. Finally, we have Templates. Most of these will be the default ones that come with QScan and serve most major distribution channels, but you can also create your own automated templates inside QScan to meet your specific requirements. We've got Amazon in here, HBO, Netflix, all the big players really, with more templates being added all the time. So that's QScan all set up, let's dive into a project and see it in action. Once you're in your project, just find the footage you want to QC, right click on it, and as I'm sure you can guess, head down to the QC option. In here, you'll find all the templates you've brought in, and if you hover over them, you can see what they check for. Even on YouTube, a distribution channel with less stringent requirements, you can see QScan checks for a lot of stuff. We'll go ahead and choose that for today. We get a box down here confirming that the task has started, and to see it in progress, head to your project card up here on the top left, and if it's not already selected, head to the Tasks tab. The progress bar goes up, and there we go. In no time at all, we've analyzed our footage. We get a pop-up box here confirming that the job is done and alerting us to the issues it's detected. Now there's a few ways we can interact with this. We can generate a web report or a PDF report, which we'll take a look at. We'll download that, open it up, and here you have an in-depth analysis of the issues you can share around if needed. You can always just review the issues inside Lightworks as well. If we click on our QC tab here, you can see a breakdown of the errors in the footage. Markers indicating the errors have also been added to our playback bar as well. So if you hover over those, you can see what the error is and how long it lasts for on the footage. Or you can click on the errors from the list and have the playhead jump to that location on the playback bar. You could also switch to timeline view and view them against your footage and audio as well. Another way to use this is to check your finished edit for errors while exporting. You go through the usual exporting process, right click, choose export, and then choose your preferred export options. The usual export settings box will pop up, but now you have an extra section to it called quality control. Here you can choose your template again from the full list. We'll stick with YouTube for now, and then just hit start to begin your export. The usual export progress bar comes up and runs along, but once that's done, your QC progress kicks in. The usual export log is opened up, but once the QC progress is done, some additional details pop into the box, highlighting any issues. You may also notice that these issues have been added to your project timeline, so we can now easily go back in, check them out, and fix them if needed. This is a great way to evaluate your entire edit. So that's a whirlwind tour to using QScan AQC directly inside Lightworks. You might not be quite ready for the big name streaming platforms yet, but even if you're just uploading to somewhere like YouTube, checking the quality of your project is a great practice to get into at any stage of your career.